All right, you guys, we're back with our Synology DS1819 Plus. We have five four terabyte WD red drives, three four terabyte purple drives. The reason why we have the two different drives is we're gonna have these five ones in the SHH R RAID with the Synology, and that's gonna be for our file storage, VMs, data, stuff like that. And then these three four terabyte purple drives are more geared towards the surveillance industry because uh, we will be having this run some IP cameras and doing our surveillance cameras around our house or our office. Um, so that's why we have those three drives. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these into the Synology, boot it up, and I'll show you how to configure these two different arrays. So let's go ahead and put our drives up here. So like I said, it's as simple as just prying these plastic parts off and sliding that drive in there. I won't bore you to do every one, but you just make sure the holes are lined up and you just put that in there like so. Make sure it locks in. And the same thing to the other side. And we're gonna do the last three drives here as our purple drives. And then the first five bays would be for our WD red drives. Same thing with the WD red drives. Just snap it into place. The other side. Now if you have two and a half inch drives, they do have holes here. So you can put in a two and a half inch drive in these caddies, which is nice to have that feature. But um, I suggest doing three and a half inch drives because they're gonna be just that much cost effective. It's hard to find big storage in smaller drive space. All right, there's our last drive. So we have the one, two, three, four, five WD red drives here. One, two, three uh, purple uh, four terabyte drives. So now let's go ahead and power this on and configure our arrays. All right, you guys, we waited about just about 10 minutes for the Synology server to power on. Uh, you do hear a beeping noise and that's gonna let you know that you can probably hit the web interface and get to it. I love to use the Synology Assistant application um, to search the network to find the NAS so you can see what DHCP address it got which is 114 and 1.27 and the reason why we're getting two is because we have two of the NICs active with uh, two Cat5e cables um, but they can, they're take it to the same destination. So I went ahead and typed in that IP address 192.168.8.114 and we're going to get this welcome setup page now so let's go ahead and go through the setup process for our Synology. Go ahead and hit install now and it's going to just let you know that's going to be wiping these drives and it's going to take two of those drives probably to install the disk uh, station manager on it. So let's let this run the process here. It's going to format everything for us. This will take depending on your bandwidth because it is going to be downloading the disk station manager and then installing it. So let's give this a couple minutes here. I'll pause it so you guys don't have to go through the painstaking waiting process with me. All right, once it gets done installing, it's gonna restart here for us really quick. And when it comes back up, I'll continue. All right, we created our user account. We're gonna go ahead and hit skip this step because we're not gonna use the quick connect uh, feature of this NAS. Go ahead and hit yes. And then we're not gonna share our, our device information and we're gonna hit go. And then we're gonna go hit got it for the smart update. And no thanks, because we're not going to send our information to them. So we are now in our Synology. Let's go ahead and go to Storage Manager. And we're going to go to Volumes and hit Create. We're going to select Custom. Create a new pool. And we're going to do Higher Flexibility, because we want to have multiple volumes. And the RAID type is SHR, which will allow one failed drive. Um, if you need up to two failed drives, you can do SHR2. But um, in my instance, one failed drive is good enough for me because I'm also going to do external backups. We're going to select the first five drives because we're going to create that volume first. Hit OK. We're going to do BTRFS because we want to do uh, virtualization and you're going to need that type of file system to do that. EXT4 will not. Hit next. 
and then we'll just call it uh, data store and next and apply. Then we're going to create a second volume and custom. Actually, we'll go high flexibility, SIHR, select those three drives, hit OK, and same file system type. And we'll just type in surveillance uh, data, so we know that's our surveillance data drive volume, and next, and apply. So we're going to have a little over 7 terabytes for our surveillance, and then we're going to have um, about 14 terabytes roughly for our data. So we'll wait these for these two volumes to be created. And that's running an parity consistent check. So there you guys have it. We've upgraded our memory and our Synology. If you haven't uh, watched that video, please see the link in the description for that. We went from four gigs to 32. And now we piped in uh, our eight drives where we're doing eight terabytes for our surveillance, 14 terabytes for our data. And now that it's ver doing a verification in the background, so we'll let those run before we do anything else. Thanks, you guys. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.